know anyone was still here. You must be doing those exercises. Can you really see a difference? Yeah. Just stand over here. You're a tough one. Didn't want to get with the program. No. No. I'm sorry I have to be so hard on you. No, 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 no. How did you run? It was good, but I sure do need a coach. That's why we're here. I'd rather have Dad. Yeah, yeah, me too. But even your dad would be impressed with a coach who's had runners place every year at the district, state, and the national. Not to mention Casey King. Not to mention Casey King. I'm gonna train with Kurt Ansem. I'm gonna train with Casey King's coach. I still can't believe it. You're gonna be late for Casey King's coach if you don't hurry. Mom, thanks for making this happen for me. I'll get that scholarship and go on to college. That's what your dad wanted for you. I will. Students participating in Saturday's track and field events Please meet Coach Ansem on the field. Listen up! What do we have to do to win? Tina, let's hear it. Believe it. Julie, how does it go? Believe it. Everybody, Brad, Julie, let's hear it. Believe, Believe it. it! Okay, don't forget, if you believe it, you'll achieve it. The moment you disbelieve, you lose. All right, now before we get started today, we've got a new secret weapon. Everybody, say hello to Mickey Carlisle. Hi, Mickey. She's a mature runner, she's got great stats, and best of all, she runs the 800 meters. So Julie, you're not the only half miler anymore. Remember, average is as close to the bottom as it is to the top. Nobody on my team is average, not for long. Believe it, achieve it. If you can imagine it, you can do it. Winning is scary. Dare to risk winning. Most people won't. Most people choose losing. It's easier. It's understandable, it's more comfortable. Well, a lot of things are comfortable. Sleeping is comfortable. Death surely is. Running is many things, but it is not comfortable. Tina, get the stat board. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mom, I won't believe it. 
I'm running a meet on Saturday. So soon? Coach says I'm ready. It's really a team, Mom, not like Taft at all. And everyone's a serious runner. That's great, honey. I've got to eat light meals seven times a day to keep my metabolism constant. That's what triathletes do. Okay, slow down. Coach says the workout the body gets running is three times what it takes for bodybuilding. Okay, I know the drill. Just give me the menus and recipes. Coach is amazing. It's like he knows your inner fears. What stops you from achieving your goals? He has this thing called the results method. You focus on your weakest area, figure out a device, and work on it every day. Good. But he doesn't do it for you. He makes you coach yourself. Oh, that's good. I like that. I'm going to make it, Mom. You better, kiddo. I didn't completely uproot our lives to have you fail at anything short of a full scholarship to college and an Olympic gold medal. And I'll be very disappointed. Well, how about if I just make it to the Olympics? I guess that would be okay. Coach, if he thinks we can win the state championship. Really? How good is the rest of the team? Real good. But there's this one girl, Julie Vaccaro. She's the only one who's beaten my time. Well, then it's your first goal. You have to beat Julie Vaccaro. I heard you were top ranked at your old school. Yeah. I used to do the fence. Okay, go. What's wrong? My leg cramps. Julie, what the hell's wrong with you? Three days to a meet and you risk two of our best runners? I didn't hold a gun to her head. <sighs> Rule number one, never run without warming up. Into the whirlpool, now. Coach? You're going to be late for class. I do understand about warm-ups. You know, I've been watching you. What do you think? I think that you could be a winner. <laughs> I hope you're right. If there's one thing I know about Mickey, it's running. The fact that you're a little raw is in our favor. There's fewer bad habits to unlearn. You just watch, listen, and absorb. Your legs will take care of the rest. But not without warming up. Concentration is the name of the game. I can run you through the ringer. I can get you ready. It's what's in your heart that makes you a winner. It's all blonde. Get your split, even if she's got a big lead. She'll come back to you. Wait till the final curve and eat her up. She can't outkick you. Back now, we're at the starting line. The women's 800 meters is about to get underway. Runners, take your mark.
sure as hell wasn't what I told you to do. You want to stay on this team, you better listen to me. Stand up. Next race. You talk to your legs. As you run, really talk to them. Repeat over and over. Easy, free, balanced, now. You got that? Walk it off. It's the final bend now. About 150 to go. Easy, free, balanced, now. Easy, free, balanced, now. but I don't like that he chewed you out in front of everyone. He's the coach, Mom. He knows what he's doing. I don't care who he is. Yelling at people. No big deal. Coaches do that all the time. I don't remember your father ever browbeating anyone. Coach Anson's different. It's his style, that's all. I mean, I won the race, shaved off three-tenths of a second for my personal best. And how do you know you wouldn't have done that anyway? Why are you being so weird about this? It's like you're mad I won or something. That's not true, honey. I love that you won. I was so proud. But I don't like to see you or anyone treated badly. That's all I'm saying. Okay? Okay. Good. Let's celebrate. To. Oh, um, 311. Yeah, I like them too. You know, they're playing the amphitheater next Friday. Really? Yeah. And my mom has a friend who can get tickets. Do you want to go? Sure. Um, I mean, I think so. Yeah, that would be great. Gotta go. That was great. Okay. At your last meet? You were right there for the first 400. When you should have sat in on Julie, instead you ran on the rail. But I recovered. It still cost you two meters. We have to fix this before it does you in. And trust me, it will. Well, what can I do? How hard are you willing to work? I thought I'd have to devote more time to track. Didn't you tell me you're already having trouble getting your math assignments out? I know, but I still don't know, but. You're up at four, you're at the track by five. You're so tired, you're falling asleep over your homework. And now you say you have to do more? Uh-uh. I'm sorry. Oh, good. Just the man I want to see. Mom, don't. Wait in the car. Coach Ansom. Yes. Hi, I'm Margaret Carlisle, Mickey's mother. Oh, hi. So pleased to meet you. I've been meaning to give you a call to tell you how happy we are to have Mickey on the team. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. But there seems to be a problem developing here. Oh, what kind of problem? Mickey's schoolwork is starting to suffer, and frankly, with the schedule you've got her on, I don't see how she can keep up. Well, don't underestimate her. Oh, I don't underestimate her. I'm just trying to be realistic. Well, believe me, the discipline she learns from me will help her with her studying. And with you pushing on the academic end, she'll do just fine. Well, I hope you're right. But in the end, her education is more important to me than running, so I want you to know that... I understand completely. But trust me, I've been doing this a long time. Hey, I just watched her run. 
You had a really great breakout. Thanks. Um, so you want to go to a movie or something? Myers! This is not a social club. Ricky, you're up. faster than that on the machines. That's why only competition counts. Me standing here with a stopwatch, wind, distractions, all of which and more can happen at a meet. You have to learn to deal with it. But I'm doing everything. Don't you meet me in my office after we're done here? I think I see the problem. I'll send this video to Gray's Sports Clinic. Get your alignment analyzed by experts. You just Stay in your regular stride and relax. You're still developing. The way you carry your shoulders, the weight of your hips, and throw up your spine. Now, slow down. I need to get to know my runners. If you have a problem with your stride, we'll fix it. Any internal obstacles, we'll fix those too. Internal obstacles? Any thoughts that get in the way, mental bad habits, Running can be as much mental as it is physical. My dad used to say that. Well, your state of mind is everything. You gotta work your mind the same as you work your muscles. Okay, that's it. Get to rest, I'll walk you out. You got a boyfriend? I don't have time for dating. It's a good attitude. Boys will just distract you. What are you thinking about out there when you run? I'm trying for nothing like you want us to. No, I can tell. You've got something on your mind. I think about my dad a lot. How he died and how maybe it was my fault. He was pacing me when he had his heart attack. Blaming yourself for something like that is ridiculous and really harmful. Not just in running, but in life, too. Nothing good can come out of it. You've got to learn to control your thoughts, just like you do your muscles. That's what makes a champion. Come on, go home. Rest up. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Yep. A lot of work ahead of us. Tell me about the videotaping. All I did was walk back and forth in front of a video camera. That's all it was? Walking back and forth? Yeah, why? Just curious. You know me, I like to go over detail. Coach says the sports lab can isolate the individual muscle or tendon that throws a runner off. Isn't that incredible? It seems like running has become more science than sport. I just hope you remember to have some fun. I have plenty of fun, but now I have a chance to win. Well, that's good, that's great. But remember what I said about your grades. Oh, that's Tina. I gotta run. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. I love you. Love you, too. Nikki? I thought I'd run down for you what else you're going to need to qualify for that scholarship. Besides athletics? Yes. Three letters of recommendation from academic teachers. Okay. And colleges like to know that you have other interests besides track. Like what? Join a club, something like drama or journalism. And of course, good grades. Well, my grades won't be a problem. Well, I see from your records you're a little weak in math. You can't fall below a 75 or you're off the team. Is that for every marking period? Yes. We have tutors. All you have to do is show up after school. But I have practice after school. Hey, you look like you just dropped the baton in the 4 by 4 I wish. You know, I'm a really good listener. 
The guidance counselor said I could be taken off the team if I don't keep my grades up. And I'm terrible at math. <laughs> That's all you're worried about, math? That's all? I don't have a problem with geometry, but trig is like my worst nightmare. Ah, trig is math. For you, maybe. Okay, well then, get a tutor. They got a great tutoring program here. The only time they offer it is when we have practice. Well, then I'll help you. What do you mean? I'll tutor you. Me. After practice. Great. Thanks. I'm working on my 400. My 800. Julie scares me. I think she's more scared of you. You know, before you came along, she was the fastest. I beat her one time. Who knows if I can do it again? You were faster a week ago. And your form's gone to hell. Why are you giving individual training sessions to Mickey? You mean like I did with you? But she's fast, but she's got no power. Running against you is what will eventually make her reach for it. Just like running against her is what will make you reach for that final kick. Mickey Carlisle is the best thing that could have happened to you. What's so special about her? Mickey Carlisle could be my next Casey King. Come on, girls. Six hundred. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Light up. Set. Go. for that. I didn't mean to. Not to mention injuring one of your fellow teammates. Get off the track. It was an accident. Get off the field. Go home. I don't want to have to look at you anymore. It's all right. Mm -hmm. In there? Yeah, okay. What about that? Fine. It's okay, really. Thanks. Hop down and walk in a circle. I think it scared me more than anything else. Yeah, it scared me too. It's your arm. I got the results from the video. Those guys at Gray Sports Clinic are magicians. They pin down where your stride's off. Hop back up, I'll show you. I've got a math quiz. They can take me off the team. I've got to be home to study. Well, it's your career. Can we do it tomorrow? First thing in the morning. Well, I hear you got Brad to coach you in math. I have my spies. Brad's a smart boy. But you know, if you're going to be a track star, there are sacrifices. You can't live like regular kids. Brad and I are only studying together. Mm-hmm. You tell Brad I said to behave himself. Wow, so until 1980, your dad was a world-class runner. And teacher and coach. He ran long distance. The USA decided not to compete that year. Sounds like your dad was really cool. I think I got my stubborn streak from him. Maybe it's not stubbornness. 
Maybe it's determination. God bless you. Oh, thank you. They sent me home. No way at a hospital a nurse can be sick. You must be Brad. Mickey told me you might be coming over. Yes, I, I, uh... Oh, no, don't shake hands with somebody with a cold. It might be contagious. <laughs> um, do you want me to get you something, Mom? Um, some tea or something? No, honey, I'm fine. Just, just finished studying. It was a nice... <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, if you look here... And at this sign, that angle there. See. Brad finally got me to see the difference between sine and cosine. Good. Is there something going on between you two? Not really. I mean, I like him. What do you think? You seem nice. Well mannered. Good looking. And he definitely likes you. You don't know that. Oh, Mickey, believe me, he likes you. <laughs> well, he'd better. We're gonna have to spend a lot of time together for me to ace math. Yeah, seems like you made a new friend besides Tina. I guess I don't think of boys as friends. You and I started out as friends before we realized we loved each other. There's something nice about that. Take some advice, honey. This boy-girl stuff, it's not a race. It's best to go slowly. Paul, well, I can still remember my first kiss. These are wonderful years, Mickey, but well, they can be confusing, too. I'm doing okay. Good. Good, I'm glad. I know you are. But, you know, just in case, you can always talk to me. Thank you. Come look at this. You see how your thighs are perfectly proportioned with your calves? You are like the perfect running machine. Sit down. They've spotted it. It's your inner thigh muscle, the abductor longus. That's what's throwing you off. Well, that's great, right? I can fix that. Here's the drill. Twice a day, morning and night, deep massage and stretching to elongate that muscle. That's how Casey King made her breakthrough in the 800. Casey King ran 206 in high school. I'd never broken 210. Your mechanics are superb, but you're in decent shape, not great. You need to double your miles per week and focus on your speed training. I'm already doing 15 miles. Do 30. Here, let me show you that. See, muscle is viscous. It needs to be worked. I think I've got it. It yourself. Here are those exercises written out. Twice a day, no excuses. You're telling me, no way, not Coach Anthem. But I swear, it's handsome. Come on, Mickey, who's massaging your muscle? That's what coaches do. I hope you're right. Anthem's cool, Mickey. He thinks you're a good runner, and that's why he's paying attention to you. So I'm imagining things. Let's drop it. Oh, uh, about the concert this Friday. We'll pick you up at 8.30. What time do you think it'll end? I don't know. Why? Well, it'll be late, that's all. <laughs> it's on Friday. Who cares? I know, I know. Carlisle! What's with you in the first split? Sorry, Coach. You know what that'll get you. Do another five laps. Myers, you leave that equipment out there. Mickey will bring it in. That's no, okay. I got it. Who made you coach? Mickey needs to build her upper body strength. Get the light out!
are you doing here? You scared me. I didn't know anybody was here. I thought someone left the water running. Sorry. I don't think I've ever seen Mickey move so fast at you, Brett. Well, it's not every day you get to meet Trial. Hey, see you guys there. Oh, it looks like I'm not the only one who's excited about seeing Casey King. I met her last year when you brought her into your speech. She never told me you met Casey King. Yeah, she's nice. Oh, uh, about tonight, change of plans. Can you be ready at 8? Tonight? It's 311. The amphitheater is and we have tickets booked with you. I can't go. I'm sorry. It's just that... What? I made a promise. Have to be in bed by 10.30, no exceptions. Promise to? Myself. It's all about discipline. If you ask me, it's about obsession. I'm sorry, Tina. No, forget I'm... it. Forget it. I'll get someone else to go. Hey, you want to get together and study later? I can't. I have to put in my six miles. You can overdo a good thing, you know. Coach is working me for strength and endurance. Hope it's worth it. And now I'd like to bring to the podium our very own coach, Kurt Ansem, to induct his former student, Casey King, into the Waverly High Hall of Fame. Well, let's have a hand for Principal Ed Miles, the mayor, and the city council for making this special day possible. When I first met Casey King, she had no idea what she was capable of until she started believing in something bigger than herself. Casey happens to be a runner, but it doesn't matter what area you choose. Running's just a metaphor for living for going that extra mile when you think there's no way you can. And that's about believing you can do it. That's what Casey King did. She chose to believe, and then she chose to achieve. She struggled against long odds and overcame many obstacles to become all-city champion, state champion, and of course, national champion. Welcome back, Casey King. Thank you. I want to tell you what an honor it is to be here, especially in front of the current track team. And for those of you who don't know, just by making the Waverly team, these runners are already in the 90th percentile of all the runners in the U.S. So, let's give them a hand. Carlisle, I came to Waverly to run on Coach Anson's team because he's the one who trained you. He's a great coach. What do you run? V800. That's good. What's your time? Around 210. Mm, that's pretty good. Can you tell me how you dropped to 206? Technique, strategy. What kind of strategy? Stay behind the front runner until you hit the quarter. That way you key off for pace and then you go like a bat out of hell for the inside track. Just like Coach said. Thanks. Sure. Mickey. Don't idolize anyone too much, okay? Including me. Okay. And don't be too eager. Too eager? Just take care of yourself, okay? I don't want to go to Seattle for my birthday. Why not? First off, it'll screw up the regiment. Oh, Mickey, what day off not going to kill you? Yes, it will. And how's that? 
I just can't deal with all these outside influences. You know, you're starting to worry me. I think running's taken over your life. That's just like you. You tell me to give it all I've got, and when I finally have a chance to make it, you want me to pull back. What are you talking about? Sometimes I just don't think you understand what it means to be a runner. I don't understand running? I married running. I ate, slept, and breathed running with your father for almost 20 years. So don't tell me I don't understand running. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. Can we forget it? Please. Okay. <clears throat> Anyone sitting there? Not that I know of. Look, I am. Um, I'm sorry I got mad at you the other day. It's just, uh, my mission. There's an empty seat. So? How's the trade work going? Better. You're a big help. What about the speed work? I'm still hovering at 210, but I'll break through it. Myers! You still owe me three laps from this morning. It's hard to do on a full stomach. Now? Did someone hear a whiny cat? Meow. See it? Yeah. Greasy French fries. Like putting molasses in a fuel injected engine. Not on our program. Sorry. This afternoon, let's concentrate on endurance. Get yourself a big potato. Improving. I didn't know anyone was still here. You must be doing those exercises. Can you really see a difference? Yep. Once your way to tell. Just stand over here. You're a tough one. Didn't want to get with the program. It's all going in the right direction. No! No! I'm sorry to be so hard on you. No! I'm supposed to do this. No! No! Don't! No, don't let you go? Is that what you say? Don't worry. It won't hurt you. Don't worry. Stop! <laughs> Period, okay? Okay. I'll keep you in a warm. I'll be there a little later. Okay.
Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Where have you been all week? We haven't been to one practice. I'm late. Class has already started. Mom? Mom, are you home? Did the fuse blow again? Surprise! I can't believe you're 17. Go out to gamble. And the new rule is you can't wish for anything that has to do with running. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to. Yeah. All right. Hey, Mickey. Yeah. Did you make a wish? Did you make a wish? I made a wish. I made a wish. What did we do? I don't know. Mickey. Mickey, if the party was a bad idea, Blame me. Don't, don't be rude to your friend. It's a bad idea. Honey, honey, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Just this party. No, I don't mean now. I mean the last few days. You've been acting so unlike you. I don't know what you're talking about. You stay in your room for hours. You're not working out mornings. I haven't seen you open the school. Will you stop it? Please. Okay, fine. Fine, we can talk about it later. And I'm sorry if I screwed up. I really am. I was worried about it before I got notice of her cutting math, but that was the last straw. It, it, it's like she's gone through a total personality change. Well, sometimes that's just the nature of being a teenager. No, this isn't hormones. Is there any sign of drugs? I have trouble getting her to take aspirin. What about boyfriends? You know, sometimes breakups at her age can be devastating. You know, there's this boy on the track team she's interested in, but it's not serious. I don't think it could be that. No, I... I just don't think she realizes what she's doing. You mean about cutting the math classes? Well, the cutting, not doing her schoolwork, even her running has gone haywire. It's like everything she's ever worked so hard for is going down the tube. And to be honest, with her father going and me on a nursing salary, we can't afford a good college without a scholarship. Then she won't go. Or she'll earn her own way. Well, that's not right. I don't think you understand. She's got a... What I meant was, at some point, all you can do is make sure they understand the consequences. And after that, it's their choice. Why is she throwing it all away? I think that you need to ask her that. Mickey? All of a sudden I'm getting letters from school about you cutting. What is this? I missed two classes. And math of all subjects. The one you're most worried about. I thought there was going to be a substitute. Mickey, I don't care if a chimpanzee is scheduled to teach. You never cut a class. Fine. One week you're getting tutored, the next week you're cutting. Honey, grades aren't everything. Running isn't everything. But your future is. Why are you throwing that away? I don't believe in the future. Don't ever say that again. Look, I don't know what's going on with you. But whatever it is, it's going to stop starting now. Starting right now. No point in timing you. I don't know what you're doing out there. Give me three more laps. Why don't you stop trying? Coach is going to cut her from the team. She's not even picking up her knees. It's like she's letting herself fall forward. Hey, come on, let's turn with
Oh, you look lonely out here. Come on, Mickey, send us some hay. Some other time. Say we didn't try. First, you don't come to practice for a week. Then you just walk off the field. I didn't feel well. You're in a slump. Sometimes a slump can be creative, like a plateau. Progress isn't noticeable on the outside because it's taking place within. A slump, that's what it is. It takes trusting yourself. But you'll break out of it. Trust me. Now get back to your exercises. Oh, I almost forgot. A present. I heard you had a birthday last week. Go on, open it. You are, you know, my number one. news. The math grades came in and you didn't pass. I'm off the team. I'm sorry. I know what this means to you. I guess I screwed up. It doesn't have to be permanent. You know what you have to do. Yeah. Is everything all right at home? Why? Your mom came to see me. She's worried about you. She's just like that. Since we lost my dad, you know, she worries a lot. I'm okay. I'll remember about that after-school tutoring program. Okay? Yeah, maybe I can join that club now, too. Team. Mickey, math, running, same rules apply. Figure out what you're good at, what you're bad at, focus on what you're bad at, work on it till it gets better. What are you doing? I'm not responsible for your academics, Mickey, but I'm counting on you to keep training on your own. You get your grades back up and get back out on the team. We need you. I want to go now. Yes, sir. Coach, I just finished. Sorry. Don't touch me. Don't ever touch me again! Don't be so sensitive. I don't want anything from hey, you. Vicki, don't go all hysterical on me. I mean it. I'll tell. Who the hell do you think you are? Where do you get off talking to me like that? After what you did. Is that what this is all about? I thought you were more mature than that. You're sick. No, you're the one who's sick. You screwed up your schoolwork, you're running badly, so now you're turning it all into something else. I'll take care of my own running. Not without me, you won't. You don't make state championships without me. Don't blow your career by letting your emotions get the best of you. Your state championship, your track scholarship, same thing. One word. All that goes away.
Mickey. Are you okay? Don't do that. What? It's like I'm some baby or something. Are you sick? That's all you think about. That's all you ever think can be wrong with somebody. Well, then tell me, Mickey. Tell me what's wrong. Nothing. I need a day off, that's all. And a week off and a month off and my life off. Honey, please tell me what's wrong. Please tell me. I'm afraid. Of what? She might not believe me. Yes, I will. Of course I will. Just tell me. Something horrible. Just say it. So, Coach Hanson. About Coach Hanson. You nervous? A little. And just tell her the truth, honey. Tell her everything. Exactly the way it happened. Okay? You'll be all right. Mrs. Carlisle? Yes. Hi, I'm Christina Valdez. Hi, Margaret Kyle. Nice to meet you. Is uh, your daughter with you? Yes, she is. Uh, Mickey? This is Ms. Valdez from District Attorney's Office. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I am terribly sorry about all of this, Mickey. Unfortunately, it just seems to be happening more and more these days. I'm just up on the second floor. Do you want to come with me? First off, I have to be honest with you both. The fact that there was a two-week delay before telling anybody is a big negative. So what are you saying? This won't be an easy case to win. Therefore, I'm going to have to think very hard before filing charges. You mean you're not going to arrest him? No, it's difficult to arrest somebody without probable cause, and we also have no physical evidence. Well, what do you mean? For sexual assault cases, we're looking for abrasions, semen, DNA. But Mickey didn't report it right away, so any physical evidence there was probably got washed away. Are you telling me that Factor's going to get away with raping my daughter? No, I'm not. But I am saying it's not going to be easy. Now, I just want to prepare everyone, especially Mickey, for what's up the road. Nothing could be worse than what already happened. And I understand that, believe me, I do. But Coach Anson has an extremely high profile. There will be a lot of publicity, and it could get very rough. Once again, Mickey, no detail is too small. The more information you can give me, the better, okay? Okay. Good. So let's get started. During the assault, did you tell Kurt Ansem no or use any words to that effect? I told him no. I begged him not to. And stop. I said stop. Did you fight back? Did you put up any kind of physical struggle? I just froze and it kept happening. What about witnesses? I talked to Tina Beale once about him touching me. Touching you when? Um, one time when he was massaging my calf. And then there's Brad, Brad Myers. He's a runner too. He saw the coach try to kiss me. And where did that take place? In the weight room. He walked in on us. Good. I guess there's something to go on. Now, 
Before the incident, had you ever engaged in sexual intercourse? I know this is hard, but it's one of the first things I'll go for. What? It was at a party about a year ago. My dad had just died. It was a mistake. Okay. You know what would really help us out, Mickey, is if you were to take a lie detector test. Now, I know it sounds scary, but it's really not. And it would be a sure way for us to prove that you are, in fact, telling the truth. Okay. Did Kurt Anson restrain you in any way? Yes. Did he ever hit you? No. Do you live at 2061 Orland Drive? Yes. She's cool under pressure. That's good if this goes to trial. It's so hard to watch your child go through something like this. Consider the alternative. Letting Kurt Ansom get away with it. Hmm? Letting him do the same thing to somebody else's daughter. And who knows how many times he's gotten away with it before. I know that. What I don't know is the effect it's going to have on Mickey. I know some very good psychologists who can help. But what about all this? Lie detectors. Newspapers. Unfortunately, there's no way around it. But you see, Nikki has a better chance of healing from something like this by standing up for herself, seeking justice. Besides, Mickey's tough. She's a trained athlete, and all of that discipline is going to help her. I hope so. Kurt? We have a situation. School board turned down my funding? Apparently, there's been a charge of sexual assault filed against you with Child Protective Services by one of your students, Mickey Carlisle. Mickey? I can't believe it. I've just come from an emergency school board meeting. It's been decided... Ed, you know me. That's impossible. I don't know why the girl would say such a thing. The point is, whatever actually took place... Nothing took place. Certain gears have been set in motion, and there's protocol to follow. Protocol? I'm afraid we have to place you on temporary suspension. Ed, this is nuts. It's out of my hands. Would I jeopardize my entire career? I suggest you get yourself a good lawyer, one that specializes in this sort of thing. Suspended for how long? Pending the outcome of the investigation. I can't believe some delusional teenager... Kurt, don't. Whatever you say now, I might be forced to repeat in court. Get yourself a lawyer. You couldn't hack the competition, so you had to ruin it for the rest of us? I could hack the competition. Yeah, right. She made sure none of us made it to the state championship. Okay. Hi. Hi. Look. I told you some things, like Anson touching me. The district attorney's going to ask you about them. Wait a second. Why are you dragging me into this? You've got to tell them. I don't have to do anything. Leave me out of this, Mickey. What was that all about? Nothing. Let's just go back to work. Good night, sir. The police said you told them that I saw the coach molesting you? That's not what I said. Yeah, because it's not true. I saw... I saw you and him kissing, but that's all I saw. Then just say that. I won't lie. No one's asking you to lie, Brad. All they want is for you to tell what you saw. Yeah, well, he's the coach. Either way, I'm screwed. Oh, 
Oh, God, they interviewed Coach Anson. They did? Um, if you ask me, Mickey Carlisle is just a kid who had a dream of being a track star. When she got cut from the team and knew there'd be no scholarship, she and her mom went for the next best thing, a million-dollar lawsuit. Where does he get this crap? He makes it up. Oh. I'm so sorry. Let's eat. I'm not hungry. Okay. He never said anything. You know, when it came out that I had sex, I mean, before. And I just figured you'd come to me when you were ready. Do you believe me about the coach? Of course I do, Mickey. Why even ask me that? I don't know. I thought maybe you'd think I was a bad person. Oh, Mickey. Get that out of your head. Damn it. Damn it. What is Kate doing to you? Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. That's okay. Well, I have some good news and some bad news. Give us the bad news first. Even though Mickey passed the lie detector test with flying colors, my boss wants me to drop the case. What? He can't do that after all we've been through? We were hoping that once the story got leaked to the press, some of Ansem's other victims might have come forward, but that hasn't happened. And as you can well imagine, there was a lot of political pressure with this case. So what's the good news? He's given me 72 hours to come up with somebody else. But what if there is nobody else? Mary, can you stand in the young man, please? Come in. Brad? What are you doing here? Hey, Mickey. Miss Carla. Brad gave an interview to the police earlier, and something came up that I thought you should hear. What is it? <clears throat> I really can't remember who told me this. Um... I was a freshman, and I, I just kind of put it out of my mind. Please, Brad, just tell us. Um, the rumor was that Coach Anson did the same thing to another runner. Really? Who? Casey King. What? Casey King? Yeah, um, that's what I heard. Coach Ansem raped my daughter. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry, but what does this have to do with me? We've been told that a similar incident happened between you and a coach. And someone's lying to you. Well, if it's true, please. We really need you to come forward. I'm afraid you've come to the wrong person. That day in the parking lot, you were trying to warn me, weren't you? Look, I don't know what you're talking about. You told me not to idolize anybody, not to be too eager. Did he do the same thing to you? I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. If it happened to you and Mickey, don't you think it's happened to others too? Why are you protecting him? Miss Kay, my daughter looks up to you. She has your posters, your calendars, all your articles. She talks about you all the time. She's admired you. I'm since... sorry. I'd like you to leave now, okay? Come on, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. What's going on? Coach Hanson's been reinstated. It can't be. 
it was on TV and everything. How can they? It's something about Union Rules. I'm sorry. to put this all behind us, Mickey. No hard feelings. You get your grades back up, get back in shape, you'll be back on the team in no time. Okay. We've got the state championships coming at us like a freight train. So I don't know what you're doing sitting around here stuffing your faces. Let's get out there! To go through. I'm just rushing to a staff meeting. I'm sorry, but I'm having second thoughts about urging Mickey to go home to Kate. Well, why now? Well, because of the kinds of questions she's trying to ask now. She's turning it all in on herself. A lot of guilt, a lot of doubt. Look, maybe it's just the way she's processing it, and maybe it's good she's talking about it. See, I was the one who pushed her to report it. What if that was a mistake? I mean, what if it's just too much for a teenage girl? Are you sure it's not you that it's too much for? Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I want to get this guy. And have you asked Mickey what she wants? Of course I have. I've asked her and asked her. And? She says she wants to go ahead with it. So trust your daughter. How can she know at her age what's right for her? I'm her mother. Don't I have to protect her above all else? Whether this man gets punished or not? Is it true what Mickey said? Of course not. Well, why would she lie about you like that? It's called pressure. Some athletes eat it up, some crumble. She crumbled. So why'd you tell her she'll be back on the team? Because I mean it. She's fast. We need her. No, I think it's a mistake. She hurt you. She hurt the team. Let's concentrate on you now. What do you mean? We've got to get you faster. You're my big hope in the four buys. You've been working on your breakout like I told you? I can't believe you remember my running problems when you've got all this other stuff on your mind. Hey, I'm a coach. That's what I do. Come here. I need a hug. Well, I never really saw anything outright, but uh, you told me to list anything suspicious. Mm hmm And maybe we'll find something here that works. How about number three? Often sees coach massaging a girl's leg. He's a coach. Coaches do that. And what about number five? Anthem pats the girls on their rear end. That we can use. Number six, works with girls after dark. He always found some way to keep me after practice. Mm, everyone knows runners train hard. That's not going to do it for us. Okay, number nine, Coach Anson drives the girls home, never the guys. Explainable protection. There's no jury that's going to bat an eye at that. What about number ten? Julie Vaccaro hangs out in Coach's office. So? Well, ever since Mickey left, he's been concentrating on her a lot. Hmm. Julie could be his next victim, if she hasn't been already. Maybe she can tell us something that'll help. Let me talk to her. Are you sure that's such a good idea? Well, from experience, we find there's no pressure like peer pressure. I meant for Mickey, not the case. Mom, I want to. You stay the hell away from me. I'm not your enemy, Julie. Yes, you are. You're an enemy to the whole team. 
I'm just trying to do what's right. Coach says the pressure got to you. He feels sorry for you, Mickey. I do too. He gave me one of those. So? Julie, he's a great coach, but he's a bad man. What he did to me was wrong. What you say he did. He could do it to you. Maybe he already has. Look, I don't know what you want, but I want to run. And you're not going to keep me from doing that. We've got to stop him. He never did anything to you. You only wish he did. Just be careful, Julie. Because if I'm telling the truth, and, and that's a big if, you could be next. What's up? He did? Y y yeah. Uh, why don't we say my office tomorrow at 11 o'clock? No, that's fine. Yeah, okay, I will talk to you then. She admitted she was raped by him? She's coming to my office tomorrow. If Casey talks, we win. We got him. Great, thank you. Thank you so much. Huh? Who was that? What's going on? It was Christina. Casey King may testify. You're kidding. No, no, I'm not. Casey King may testify. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Then one day after practice, he came in when I was changing. How old were you then? Sixteen. Next thing I knew, he was... He was on top of me. Raping you? Yeah. He waited with me until my mother came to pick me up. He told her he wanted to make sure I was safe. Did you encourage him in any way? Were you physical with him at all before this? No. Um, but... What? I was in awe of him. <laughs> he was a great coach. I never knew my father. <laughs> Kurt Anson became my entire life at one point. I guess I did have a crush on him. You were still underage. And he definitely forced himself on you. Yes. Definitely. Why did you decide to come forward? The look on Mickey Carlisle's face. It was like looking in a mirror. <laughs> it took a while, but I finally realized that if I don't talk about it, I'll never be free of him. <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to ask you to testify. Yes.
say to the DA? I didn't say anything. You know how it is, Casey. These girls come to me. They think they're in love. I'm an emotional guy. I'm passionate. I touch people. And they get confused. They romanticize. Yeah, I know how it is. It's like us. Nothing happened between you and me that you didn't want, and you know that. No, I don't know that. Oh, really? So what do you know? That you raped me. Just like you raped Mickey Carlisle. In your dreams, Casey. I knew you'd get it all mixed up. If you don't leave me alone... Well, what? You gonna start screaming? Cry wolf? You listen to me, Ms. King. If your coach gets discredited, so do you. I am not gonna lie. How many endorsements do you think you'll get once I tell them the truth about Casey King? No one is gonna believe you. They will when they read these. These are copies of your love letters written to me. Very provocative reading, Casey. Very provocative. Bastard. Don't throw it all away, baby. This is a lose-lose situation for everybody. And picture your face at the finish line. I miss you so much, and I can't wait to be with you again on Saturday. I love you, Casey. This is not good. But those letters were written before he raped me. Mm -hmm. And here's the problem. They're going to twist everything around and say that this is proof you were always obsessed with him. That's ridiculous. They'll say the relationship was always delusional, and now you're making everything up to get back at him. Get back at him for what? Well, for losing interest, for taking a new girlfriend. I don't believe this. There is no way I'm going to testify now. What do you mean? It's all too much. I mean, it's just too messy. Casey, nobody ever said this was going to be easy. No, I can't do it. You know I have the power to subpoena you before the grand jury. I'll deny everything. And commit perjury? I know what you're thinking, but it isn't like that. It isn't about my image and the endorsements. Then why don't you tell me what it is about? My mom and my entire family sacrificed so much to get me where I am, and I can't let them down. But you're letting Mickey Carlisle down, and you're letting Kurt Ansem win. I know, and I feel terrible, but I can't let this stuff get into the papers. I, I just can't. Okay, I'm sorry. Then there has to be another way you can help. Like what? You know Kurt Ansem as well as anybody, right? Yeah. So what really makes him tick? And how can we force him to make a mistake? We heard the charges were dropped. We just want to tell you how sorry we are. Yeah. Thanks. Nikki, I just want you to know I believe you. I didn't at first, but I do now. It's okay, really. Believe me, a lot of people admire you for it. And hope you're gonna keep running, too. I don't know what I'm doing. Everything's happening so fast. Look, I'm sorry I didn't say something sooner. I feel like I let, like I let you down. Me too. Thanks. I'm late for class. I really gotta go. Hey, well, what about tutoring? You still need help with that? I'll call you later. One. There's no winning in something like this, Mickey. Why'd you come here? I don't know. I feel like my whole life has been ruined. No, don't go blaming me. I'm not. I'm blaming myself. All I ever wanted to do was run. Well, you can still do that, Mickey. You've got the legs. You just need to straighten some things out up here. I know. Anyhow, I just wanted to say goodbye. It looks like I'm going to transfer to another school. 
No, I think that's smart. You take care of yourself. Why did you have to force yourself on me? I love you. Vicky. I would have done it with you anyway. I would have done anything for you. Why did you force yourself on me? I didn't force myself. Yes, you did. <laughs> I told you it hurt. That's what you wanted. <laughs> no. Stop, please. You're hurting me, but you wouldn't listen. <laughs> Why? I thought you Why? wanted me to. That's why I did it. Bingo. We got him. Code four. This week, code four. I'll help you with the other school if you want. I can still make a champion out of you, Mickey. Kurt Angle? What's this all about? You're under arrest for the whoa, rape. Whoa, wait, Mr. Carlisle. Wait. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. This is not right. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Do you understand what I have just told you? You can't do this. This is insane. Just keep moving. It's over, It's all over. You did a great job. Yeah. Thanks to Casey, I did. You were so right about him, about the crying. Yeah, Kurt can't resist rescuing a damsel in distress. That's how it starts with him. I was so scared he was going to find the wire. We were listening the whole time. There was no way we would ever let him touch you. Yeah, I would have been there with a baseball bat. <laughs> You really think Coach Jansen will go to jail? Christina says for at least five years. But it's all because of you. Too bad they don't give out trophies for what you did, honey. You were so brave. I guess you inherited that from your dad. I got a lot from dad. But I got my courage from you, Mom. Thanks for being there for me. 